Hey all, just want to go through this uh, short and curlies from the It's Only Rock and Roll album with some lead licks that sound very much to me like Keith because for one thing you hear this a couple of times in it. When you hear that lick, it's it's Keith. <laughs> that that little pentatonic lick is the sort of the bedrock of his soloing. I, mean, I don't don't get me wrong. It's also the bedrock of Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton. It's a, a pretty common Chuck Berry-ish lick. You hear a lot of that in, in Keith's playing. Uh, he does go up to a major pentatonic. So mixed between major and minor, but um, kind of typical Keith licks and uh, standard tuning. Because the other thing is, when you hear this lick, you know that's standard tuning. Um, so let's try and uh, go through it. Not not do a note for note or anything, but um, more of an exercise. If you were working on lead fills and um, little licks like that, this is a good one. They're, they're, it's a sort of mid tempo. Um, there's a lot of room in there for for solo. In fact, I think Keith sort of after the first 30 seconds, go straight into fills for the rest of the tune. So let's just try to get a feel for it. So uh, a song not, not necessarily to perfect and learn all the way through and get note for note or anything, but one to, to just do that and, and try in your head thinking of the chord changes because, you know, where you're soloing, where you're doing the fills, uh, you want to kind of match up with the, uh, with the chord changes. Um, so I just did a really sloppy one, one time through kind of thing, but you, you can see if, if you if you wanted to sit down and go through that for 20 minutes, you, you could really get something that sounds uh, pretty put together. But um, anyway, a good exercise in standard tuning to go through those uh, bluesy minor pentatonic and major pentatonic licks that you often find in that period of stones. Good luck.